For some reaction and analysis, we can speak to Denzel Davidson, who served as special advisor to Theresa May and Boris Johnson's governments. He's also the EU institutions director at the Global Council Advisory Firm. Mr. Davidson, thank you so much for joining us here on France 24. Can you just start by giving us your reaction to Liz Truss winning this race to be the next prime minister? Well, I think, thank you very much and good evening. I think no one was very surprised by the outcome. It was much closer, though, than many had predicted. So now she faces uh, an immediate storm, which is going to have to grapple with the storm of the coming uh, cost of living crisis and the economic problems ahead. And so really her first weeks are going to be crucial for her whole premiership. And what do you think about what we know of her economic plans so far? Well, she is uh, by instinct a tax cutter and a deregulator. And that's how she sees uh, the answer to the problem of growth. Uh, both Conservatives and Labour Party now see the lack of growth as, as the big problem for Britain's economy. Uh, but of course, it's all very well to be in favour of growth. The question is how you deliver it. Uh, and her answer uh, will be, as, uh, as she said, uh, tax cuts and deregulation. Whether that will be enough, though, is yet to be seen. Now, there remain many politicians within the Tory party that don't support Liz Truss. What might she do to try and unite her party? And what's going to happen if she can't do that? Uh, well, that's a very good and very interesting question. It isn't clear from the briefings that have, have taken place about her policy or whom she's going to appoint to her cabinet that she's going to do a great deal to unite her party. Uh, her instinct seems to be to surround herself uh, with her allies, uh, to secure um, Boris Johnson supporters and then full steam ahead uh, with her policy of tax cuts and deregulation, but no doubt adapted to circumstances. Now, what she has in her favour is that a general election is only two years away and uh, MPs know that disunited parties lose elections. So if they undermine their prime minister and show that the Conservative Party is disunited, then they increase the chances of losing their seats terminating their careers as politicians. So she will hope that that is a strong enough incentive to keep her party disciplined. European leaders, meanwhile, are concerned that Liz Truss could try and deviate from the Northern Ireland protocol. How likely do you think that is? And would that be a wise choice on her part? I think it is highly likely that she will try to. It's uh, the expectation on both sides of the channel. Uh, there will be an effort for a fresh start from Brussels and other European capitals. But right now, they are not hopeful. However, uh, as Prime Minister, she will face a, an obstacle to her plans, to the legislation she's trying to get through Parliament in the House of Lords, uh, which will uh, profoundly amend or perhaps simply block the bill. That has the effect of delaying it and delaying it nearer the next general election. So she will face choices about a great deal of compromise internally which would go some way, perhaps a long way, to reassuring uh, the EU's fears or having to play a longer game uh, in the context where she's also facing an economic crisis. And uh, many would think that adding a trade war to that would be unwise. I think most uh, people hoping for um, uh, what would be of mutual benefit to the United Kingdom and the EU and what is good for Northern Ireland would hope that a less confrontational way is found, that both sides show flexibility and can find something that works for everyone. But that will not be easy and does not currently look likely in the short term. All right, Mr. Davidson, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you very much for your insight. That was Denzel Davidson, who served as special advisor to Theresa May and Boris Johnson's administrations, also the EU institutions director at the Global Council Advisory Firm.